Hey guys, we're changing gears again this week, and this time we're going to be looking back at armor subject matter again, after a fair bit of a hiatus on it, and going to be looking at the Crusader Mark III in Girls and Panzer markings. So, let's open her on up and take a look. So, to start out, um, we've obviously got our main upper hole piece, as well as some of the side skirts, the armor bits for the laurel fuel tank, and a couple other odds and end parts on this particular sprue. Uh, the casting on the upper hull is very good. Um, quite happy with it. What they did here and I do like the overall part breakdown so far um, no real complaints there should make for a fairly easy build next up we've got our single sprue for the turret um, typical clamshell half upper and lower pieces for it as well as a nice inclusion of a separate gun so depending on what you decide to do with this particular kit, or if you buy the non-Girls and Panzer version, you will have uh, sufficient options to build how you like. Um, I would say one area to be careful of is here on this front uh, turret plate, just because these small little aerials might get damaged. So just be careful there, as well as a couple of the other antenna parts that are also on this sprue I would even say be prepared just in case it gets damaged to replace it with some spare wire or stretch sprue and just to get out of the way real quick is our main hull piece it does have some detailing on there inside even though for most part that won't be seen as well as an interesting build up keying for the suspension which we'll get to in a little bit Moving on, we've got a couple more side skirt parts. Well, those are rear radiator plate and a few more detail parts. Overall, uh, plats slash border has done a very good job on this kit. Now, the last main sprue, which is a double sprue, is all of our road wheels, our sprocket, idlers, and our suspension parts. Now, to look, when we get to it and look in the instructions, I did notice that uh, I'm not sure how much of these are going to be seen on the final kit. So, this may be an area you may just go ahead and attach them and do your best to paint them. But overall, I don't think they'll be really seen. Uh, thankfully, we do get a little bit of a key guide for building up the tracks, which... Well, that is a bit of a thing. Uh, lastly, we do have a small little sprue of um, clear parts for the lenses on the lights. But now, this is the monster that is the individual tracks. Um, I cannot fully tell if these are 3D printed or if they uh, cast them individually and let me just take one out so we can see again these are very tiny even though this is 135th scale I'm struggling to get this to stay on my finger and hopefully this is showing up but the detail on them is very very nice however building them up is going to take some time um, very much treat them like you would if you're doing a metal track kit. <laughs> Which, thankfully, it does include the uh, pegs for them. Be careful, though, just because I can already tell that this is going to be the Carpet Monster's new favorite food if you decide to build this kit. So, give me two seconds, and we'll take a look next at the little set of photo etch that does come with this kit. Now I've left it in the bag just for keep it from getting lost, but 
Uh, do have a couple of other little parts that will build up for the photo edge, including for the, the main inter yeah, antenna aerial. Uh, the fact they include this out the gate is a nice little extra. As with all the uh, grills and Panzer armor kits, if it wants to cooperate, do get a little sheet of decals for the individual unit marking as well as the commander. Nothing really to say there other than I, I do think the colors could have been a, just a hair shade darker. Um, I'll just leave that out. So now on to the instructions. Uh, this is definitely a more complicated tank build. Um, as I mentioned before, starts with the lower hull building up the front and back plate as well as the suspension. And as I mentioned, I don't think a lot of that suspension parts will be seen on the final build. So I'd almost say you could skip painting them separately and just attach them and you know come with me as far as what scene will get painted uh, from there you build up some of the various sub-assembly components uh, building up the upper hole as well as making little use of some of the photo etch included for finally button everything up as usual and then uh, decking out the last rear and the front of the tank for obviously building up our tracks button and everything up and finishing with the turret a uh, single marking option and paint scheme again girls and panzer not a whole lot there so overall this is definitely on the more complicated side of the girls and panzer kit offerings uh, it's got a lot of neat little detail and neat inclusions, which I do like. But uh, it will present a bit of a challenge just because it does have some complex sub-assemblies. But as always, if you take your time, you know, maybe not rush into this one, build another kit or two, it definitely would serve as a potential step-up kit. So that was a look at Platz's 135th scale Crusader and girls and answer markings nice little kit but definitely a complex one so uh, until next time